RO units all work the same, whether small or large. RO units are composed of pressure vessels. Inside of each pressure vessel are membrane elements. The feed water pressure forces water from the feed side of the membrane to the permeate side of the membrane in the reverse direction of osmosis. This is called reverse osmosis. Feed water bacteria, clay, silt, and other particles are deposited on the membrane and held there by the reverse osmosis flow. This fouling layer causes higher feed pressures higher pressure drops, and more chemical cleanings. The patented direct osmosis high salinity, or DOHS technology, removes the fouling layer quickly and easily while the unit is operating. For 10 to 15 seconds, a slug of salt solution is injected into the feed water. Salt water slug passes from the first inch or centimeter of each pressure vessel to the last. Where the salt water slug is in contact with the membrane, direct osmosis occurs, where water molecules pass from the permeate side to the feed side of the membrane. In front of and behind the salt water slug, Reverse osmosis continues. Direct osmosis lifts the fouling layer off of the membrane where it exits with the concentrate stream. The salt solution not only draws water from the permeate to the feed, it also draws the water out of bacteria exposed to the salt solution. When dehydrated, bacteria can't reproduce. This is the same mechanism used in preserving meats by salt curing. 